Hello guys, my name is Armando Lopez from SD Repairs and today I'm going to explain you about the JC1000 EPRON reading. Okay? ¿Qué tal? Mi nombre es Armando Lopez de STG Repairs y hoy les voy a enseñar la J, eh, JC1000 que es el lector de EPRON. Okay? So, let me show you this. First thing I'm going to show you is this is what I'm going to be using today. Esto es lo que vamos a estar usando hoy. Okay, this one we, I have to thank Unit you know, Repair for this uh, this tool. Uh, most of my uh, tools I always buy it from Unit you know, Repair. Okay, so thank you guys for this great tool. Gracias a Unit you know, Repair por esta gran herramienta. La mayoría de mis herramientas las compro en Unit you know, Repair. So if you go to Unit you know, Repair, you are going to find this is the one that you want. This is the one that we are going to be using today. Si van a Unit you know, Repair, esto es lo que ustedes quieren, esto es lo que yo voy a usar hoy. We are going to use this for iPhone 7 today. Vamos a usar esto para un iPhone 7 hoy. Uh, I'm just going to show you the process, how we are going to do the readings. We're going to do the readings, we're going to save it, and how you're going to put it on the new board. Solo les voy a enseñar el proceso como ustedes lo leen, lo salvan y lo ponen en el nuevo board. This process is, we are going to use this process if you want to do, a, if you want to do a swap board and then you don't want to replace the EPRONs. You just can do the readings. The good thing with this is you are avoiding to crack the EPRON. The EPRON chips are very delicate. And if you break the chips, the data is going to be gone. Lo que vamos a hacer ahora, esto se usa para cuando usted quiere hacer una transferencia de boards. ¿Qué pasa? Con estas le leyendo, eh, con estas máquinas de leer, usted no tendría que cambiar los chip EPRON. ¿Ok? Simplemente hace las lecturas y lo sobrescribe en el otro board. Lo que sucede es que los EPRON son bien delicados y se pueden partir muy fácil. Si usted los parte, ya se puede olvidar de la data. El teléfono sí va a funcionar, le tiene que hacer un restore con otro EPROM, pero automáticamente pierde la data. If by any chance you break the EPROM, the phone is going to work with another EPROM, but you're going to be without, you, you lost the data, okay? So that's the only reason why if you can buy this is good. So we're going to be talking about this, and if this is to use it on the computer, esto lo podemos usar directamente a la computadora, or you can buy the model, this, so you just connect it there, and you don't need the computer. O pueden comprar este eh, adaptador, este módulo, y no necesitan la computadora. Okay. This is the software, okay? Once you open the software, you click here, and this is what you're going to have. Once you have this, you see, you can press the tag. Cuando abren el software, esto es lo que tienen. Presionan Chip Repair. Y si ustedes ponen el board y ya aparece esto, es que ya automáticamente lo está leyendo. Solo le presionan Detect. Just press Detect. And here, this is the Logic Chip. Okay? Logic Chip is the, this is one you're going to be reading right now, the CPU EPROM. Okay, this is the logic chip. That's how they call it. So we press OK. And we just create read. Ven, el, el detecta. Este es la logic uh, chip, que le, el logic chip que se llama. Este está leyendo el EPRON del CPU. Y ahora presionamos read. You see, we press read. And it's going to read. You see here, it's reading. Como ven aquí, está leyendo 75%. So now, or this has been done already. Okay, como ven, ya esto está, el proceso está terminado. Right now, what you can do, this is what we're talking about. Ve, ahora lo que usted puede hacer. This is what, okay, we have the board, we have the NAND, CPU, and basement. Okay, if we didn't have this equipment, we would need to remove the logic EPRON and the RF EPRON, okay? But because we have this, we're not gonna remove those two chips. So, right now, oh, hold on, let me explain that in Spanish. 
esto, si usted no tiene esta máquina, o sea, como tenemos esta máquina, esto es lo que necesitamos. Necesitamos quitar la NAN, el CPU y el baseband. Si no tuviéramos la máquina, también tendríamos que quitar los dos EPRON, ¿ok? El Logic EPRON y el RF EPRON, que es el del baseband. So, right now, either you can just remove the board, ¿ok? Remove this board, and put the, new, the other board, the one that you're going to swap, and just write, o, Also, you can create a file, okay, you can save it, and create a file, and you can do it after the whole process. La manera que usted puede hacerlo ahora es, digamos, ahora mismo, ya se leyó, usted puede agarrar este board, el board donde usted va a transferir todo, lo conecta, o sea, lo pone ahí, y simplemente le pone write, ok? Simplemente le pone aquí eh, write. Si usted lo quiere salvar, presiona save, salva el file, cuando termina todo, entonces pone el board que va a hacer el cambio. Let's press save now, so you can learn. We press save here, as you can see here, we're going to put seven logic, okay? And then we save the bin, it's going to be a bin file, okay? And then, como vieron, presioné save, Salve bajo el nombre que ustedes quieran. You can use any name, ok? And now we're going to read the EPRON. Ok? Now we're going to read the EPRON. Detect. Read. Ok, sometimes happens. You see, you have to write there, read chip interrupter, okay, wait, detect, read, one second, yeah, it's right here. Ah, no, actually, it read. No, no, no. Sorry, it, it, it did it already. Uh, no, disculpen, ya lo leyó. Yeah, it's done. If you see, this is different from the one that we had before. I didn't realize, yeah. So now you press save. And you put, you can put a, a 7RF if you want. Okay, and you save it. Okay, if you want to see the difference. Okay, disculpen, ya estaba esto. No me di cuenta ahí. Pensé que no estaba. Ok, let's see if, because make a small confu uh, confusion here. You see, just based on this number, 23, let's check an FE. If we go to the logic, vamos a chequear el, ah, el 0, el 23 y el otro FE. Ya van a ver que sí se había leído. Just check now. You see how it's going to change now. You press read. No detecting. Now, yeah. Read. Wait, wait. Okay, now, yes. Read. You see? It was 23 here on FE, so it was fine. It was already done. Como vieron, si ya estaba bien, ya estaba leído. So, right there. Okay. Let's go again to the RF, so you guys can see it. Perfect. Detect. Yes, uh, we read it. That's it, it's gone, it's ready. So now we have that one. We have the EPRON RF. So we already save it. Remember, it's right here, RF. So, same thing. If you don't want to save it, you just get the, let's say in this case, let's do it in this case, si no queremos salvarlo, vamos a hacerlo en este caso, quitamos, ponemos el que queremos hacer el copy, tiene que estar limpio, you have to make sure the pads are clean, otherwise it's not going to uh, write or read anything, okay, so we press write, and it's going to tell you this, ve, tiene que asesorarse que los pines estén, que los pads estén bien limpios, si no, no, ni lo va a leer, ni lo va a sobreescribir, okay, le presiono write, 
Estamos haciendo, remember, acuérdense del RF. Remember, we're doing the RF. So I'm just going to, it's, it's telling me that it's going to cover the data from the board, the actual board that we're going to transfer. Yes, just press yes. Presiona así. Está transfiriendo todo. Y como ven aquí, as you can see here, it says right success. Okay. So let's say if we want to do it from the file that we save. Vamos a decir que lo queremos hacer del file que salvamos. Sesiórese que está ve. ¿Cómo sabemos que está conectado cuando usted ve que el número cambia? How do you know it's connected when you see the number is changing? So now, uh, tag, okay. So we just want to write, okay. Uh, open, going to go to, this is a logic, open, and then write, okay. Okay, vieron, le pongo detectar, abro el folder, cliqueo en el folder que voy a escribir, y solo escribo right, so now we're going to press right. Okay, it's going to cover data, yes. You see here, chip erasing. Right success, total. Como vieron, lo escribió. Hay totalmente, hay un um, success total. You guys can see it was done correctly. If you wanna, if you want to have, if you wanna have, by any chance, if you wanna have this module, if you wanna use this, I really like to use the computer. But if you want to have that, it's the same thing. Okay, a mí me gusta usar la computadora, pero si ustedes quieren usar eso, es lo mismo. So now, sometimes I have some issues with this. Okay, read. Now you see the number here, change. So it's ready, we're going to, that's the logic, we're going to the logic, okay? This is the logic, this is the baseband RF. So, I'm gonna read the logic, it's reading, okay? Same thing, if you wanna save it, you just press save. If you just want to burn, you remove this, you put the other board, and you just press board, uh, burn. Okay, esto es lo mismo. Lo leímos, este es el viejo, este es el, o sea, este es el que vamos a, que está dañado, y este es el nuevo, este es el donde vamos a transferir. ¿Qué pasa? Si usted quiere lo salva, tiene que tener un SD card, y si no lo quiere salvar, pone el board, y le pone quemar, burn, ¿ok? Y ya simplemente se va a pasar. Y sería lo mismo si usted quiere hacerlo con el baseman, RF, we go to the baseman, we press read, and it's reading. ¿Sí? Si quiere hacerlo del baseband RF es lo mismo. Te va al baseband, le presiona leer, leer y exactamente lo mismo. Lo salva. Si lo quiere salvar, tiene que tener una SDCAR. Y si no, pues simplemente lo retira y pone el otro y le pone burn. If you want to save it, you save it. If, but you need you make sure you have you need to have a SD card. If you don't want to save it, you just put the other board and you press burn. Actually, this board and you press burn, okay? So hope you guys have better idea on how to use this excellent tool, okay? Thanks to Unit Repair because many years ago, we didn't have enough tools. Now, the uh, Unit Repair, they've been taking care of us, okay? Como ven, esta es una gran herramienta y queremos agradecer a Unit Repair porque hace unos cuantos años no teníamos esa facilidad de tener todas las herramientas que quisiéramos y Union Repair es uno de los websites que nos ha permitido poder tener a la mano muchas herramientas que son muy útiles. 
right guys if you want to do this for swaps it's great si quieren usar esto para poder hacer los swaps es tremenda herramienta later on in another video i'm going to show you another way ok en, un, en otro momento les haré un video de cómo lo pueden hacer de otra manera right guys thank you hope you guys enjoy it gracias espero lo disfruten